Hello, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. Today I'd like to talk about Linux Office Suite Alternatives. So there are Office Suite Alternatives for a home user that's not really focused on using Microsoft Office like Word and Excel and others and other Microsoft Office products. You just need to get the job done. It doesn't have to have that DOCX file extension. And so basically I'm focused on the home user that just needs to get it done. And there's mainly three applications, word processing, spreadsheets, and presentation. Some offer more, like project management and desktop publishing, and some offer less, you know, just the three. <coughs> also, I'm mainly a Ubuntu-based distribution user, so some of these suites may or may not be easily available for you to use or get but nonetheless they're out there and I think this video is mostly to inform the different office suite alternatives that may be out there for you for you to give a try so the first one we're going to look at is LibreOffice And so it has word processing, spreadsheets, presentation. It doesn't have a PDF viewer. You can view PDF, F, PDF documents in the drawn application, but you also can interact with a PDF that's interactive in the drawn application as well. It has formula a formula application and a database application just like uh, Microsoft Access. So here's Writer. Cal for uh, spreadsheets. Impress for presentations. Math for formulas. And Base for database applications, which you can create tables and forms just like in Access. And there's a reason why I'm doing this to show you it this way. It'll come avail uh, apparent in a minute. WPS Office. Oh, and in uh, LibreOffice, as everybody knows, it's, it is open source and it's available on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. WPS Office. So it has word processing, that's writer, spreadsheets, and presentation. But it also has a PDF viewer now on a single download. It's not interactive. All you can do is view a PDF document, which is fine. It gets the job done if you just need to view a PDF document. It's available for Windows or Linux, and it's a free download, free download to use. Then there's only Office. It offers oh, only Office Desktop Editor. What? So let's launch that and take a look. And this is why I did this, to show you how different it is. As you can see, you know, like with LibreOffice, you click on Writer and the word processing application wants separately. You click on Cal and you get a separate spreadsheet application launched. Here, and only Office, it uses tabs. So I clicked on Create New Document. And we have a tab 
word process and application. Come back to the Only Office tab. Click on Spreadsheets. And now there's a spreadsheet application that you can create. Document, Only Office tab, Presentation. Now here we go. You can create slides and presentation. Tab for spreadsheet, tab for Word document. As you can see, there's a little X, exit out. So as you can see, Only Office is different in that it uses a tab within this same single window. And if you notice also, down here, one single icon still. If I open uh, launch a presentation, still one single icon. So Only Office is different in that it uses tabs. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Uh, its licensing is open source. Free Office, which is what I'm using now. Uh, free Office Text Maker Presentation, which is what I'm using right now. And Plan Maker is not a project management application. It is a spreadsheet application. Just thought I'd let you know that. Let's launch it so I can show you. Why? Um... Get it from my other screen. Here we go. Why it has that. I don't know. But Plan Maker for Free Office is a spreadsheet application. So it's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And it's a free. Free to download and use. So I have a few special mentions as well. One one being Caligware Office. Caligware Suite. It has word for word processing, sheets for spreadsheets, stages for presentation, plan. Plan is for project management. So within this suite, you get project management as well. K-I-X, I mean K-E-X-I. No, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a database application. You can create uh, tables and forms just like you can in Microsoft Access. Carbon. Carbon is a vector drawer. In case you need to create any images in a vector type format. Flow is a diagram. Flow chart maker. Brain dump. Um, like a mind mapping type application. I'd also like to mention within the Caligra suite, there is Krita. Krita is a drawn application as well as a photo editor. You can get, create edits as you can see here in full of 2008 HDR support for Krita. And that's pretty cool. Caligar Office is available for Windows and be a bit buggy. It, it's uh, in its beginning stages or middle stages. It's it's in progress. It's work in progress to uh, get Caligo working on Windows. I never tried it or done it. Only on Linux. I, uh, Mac OS and obviously Linux. My next special mention 
is Project Libri. It's a project management application. So if you need to manage your project with like a chart, like a NAT chart, G-N-A-T type chart, um, timeline, you can do that with Project Libre. Also, I must have closed it. There's Master PDF Editor for Linux. And it's a full-fledged editor, PDF editor, and also creator. You can create uh, PDFs if you need to. Create, edit, view, encrypt, sign with Master PDF Editor. So, there you go. There you have it. Some applications. Um, Office Suite applications to give a try. Enjoy. Have a nice day.